I'm the lead pastor of the, of the church in town that was right that was right in the heart of the, of what happened. So the fire actually went around our building and burn our building because it's a, an old Sam's Club, so it didn't have anything to catch on to. So, we, you know, we're, I'm trying my best to take care of the congregation. At the same time, we're we're dealing with the fact that our own house is, is gone. I think we have 17 people so far that have lost their home from our church, and so and 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 really, it's the 17 people that have lost their home, but it's also all the people that have been displaced and and uh, the people that have a ton of smoke damage, the ones that are trying to figure out, you know, did their pipes burst when they turned off the electricity, and it's, it's just a, a a community that's all it, it's all been rocked by this. So we lost all the all the pictures, all the videos, my wife's wedding ring. Um, all of it and so uh, you go through roller coaster sometimes you laugh at just some of the dumbest little things with your family because you have to it's all the it's all the parts of grief you know you go through the 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 sadness you go you go through the the um the, the just it, it's truly is a roller coaster at one moment you'll be doing fine and then you'll be driving down the road and you'll start crying <laughs> Tell you what, it's surreal walking into a FEMA disaster relief uh, place because you know you see it on TV and then you're in the heart of it yourself. And so there's a little bit of a, a loneliness in there when you walk in, and then you see other people and you say, we, "We're all going through this, and we're all going through it together." You see a few familiar faces, and then you you, you give people a hug.